This is Alfred Hitchcock speaking. In the past, I have given you many kinds of suspense pictures, but this time I would like you to see a different one. The difference lies in the fact that this is a true story, every word of it. It's very stimulating to keep studying and working, um, uh, but it, I'm not just generally happy. If I'm generally anything, I guess I'm generally miserable. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. You underestimate the power of the dark side. If you will not fight, then you will meet your destiny. <laughs> One well, of the reasons that the war has continued for the length of time that it has is that to the great majority of Americans it has created no pain. I mean, it is business as usual and we go about our lives and there is no pain in our lives. And I don't know what war is all about if it isn't to create pain. Let me fix you some of this new Mococo drink. All natural cocoa beans from the upper slopes of Mount Nicaragua. No artificial sweeteners. What the hell are you talking about? Who are you talking to? I don't recognize the right of this committee to ask me these kind of questions. And furthermore, <clears throat> you can all go fuck yourselves. Fairy tales can come true. It can happen to you. You know, the old uh, thing about the only, only thing you can learn about history is that you can't learn from history is, is probably true in that this, uh, this illusion that you get that you're much more sophisticated and that you can never, it can never happen that way again. Maybe true, uh, but the thing you don't realize is that it'll happen a different way. In praise of Arthur C. Clarke. Do you intend to cooperate with us? I'd like a simple yes or no. A simple no. For the simple reason I simply don't know what you're talking about. Elvis Presley is a real-life bridegroom at last. Eight years ago, when he was a soldier in Germany, he met Priscilla Beaulieu, daughter of a U.S. lieutenant colonel who was also serving out there. As she was then only 14, they had to wait a bit. Now, who could say who was the luckier, the pelvis or pretty Priscilla? The millionaire film star singer in bride choosing as in everything.
Know who else is in town? Uh, Italian Prime Minister Silvio Berlusconi. So good luck getting a hooker. Oh. <laughs>